Alright, today I'm going to show you how to transfer your iTunes library. For this demonstration, I'm going to be transferring my library off my Windows 7 laptop onto my HP uh, server. Uh, so, we're going to start. Let me show you iTunes. This is my iTunes. I got quite a few video songs. I want you to take a look at this video right here. It's called Wake Up. And you'll see when we're done. This will be right where it is now in our on the uh, server since that's the one I'm going to be copying it to. So the first thing you're going to do is just exit out of iTunes. Now you are going to need a external hard drive. I'm using a 500 gig uh, a 500 gig elements hard drive powered by Western Digital. So you're just going to plug that in let the computer auto detect it. Continue without scanning. I'm going to go open folder. Whoops, wrong one. Anyway, you want to go to open folder to view files, but it didn't work on me, so I'm going to click here into my computer, and I got all this here. I'm going to go back up. This is where I store all my stuff. Now, this was copied, this directory was made back when I was using an XP, so. I'm going to go to Documents, Settings, KC, uh, My Documents, My Music. Now you can see there's already a, a lot of stuff in here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete all that. Alright, now while it's deleting that, I'm going to go to... Now in Windows 7, it uses libraries instead of storing the my music folder in the my documents. But I can just go right here to my music to the music and you can see it's got all these files in it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna highlight I'm gonna copy every file. I'm gonna copy every file in the my music folder. And it's got notice it's got this iTunes folder here. You want to copy that too especially. I'll minimize that. Okay, and now this uh, folder in the uh, in the external hard drive is empty, so we'll do paste, and that's going to copy all of our files to the uh, external hard drive. I have about 30 gigs worth of music on here, so this may take a while, so you might want to find something to do in the meantime. Okay, now while we're waiting for my laptop to copy all the files to the external drive, we're going to go on the server. My server is a uh, old HP desktop running Windows XP Professional. I've already downloaded the iTunes setup file, so we're going to run that now. Okay, so now we're installing iTunes, set the terms. I'm going. I don't like to use iTunes as a default player. You can ch choose whatever you want, but I'm just going to choose what uh, not to use iTunes as a default audio player. Um, okay, iTunes is done installing now, so. Finish. Okay, agree to the uh, terms. Okay, we'll go through the iTunes assistance. It says find music files. We're going to tell it we don't want to find the music files because that would just be a waste of time because we're going to be transferring the iTunes library. Um, I'm going to choose to keep the iTunes music folder organized. Finish. Alright, now iTunes is so opened up for the first time. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually close the iTunes. And now we'll go back over to the laptop and we'll see if it's done copying yet.
Okay, well now that we're done installing iTunes on the server, we're back over to my laptop now, and it appears to be finishing up copying all the files. 26.9 gigabytes. I was close. I did do some cleanup though on my extra music files. So, now that's done. Eh, and copy and replace. Alright, now all these files are in here. Now we're going to do... So we'll eject the uh, disk. External hard drive. We're going to eject that now. And we'll bring the uh, external hard drive over to the server now. And copy all the files into the My Music folder on the server. Okay, now back over again to the server. We're going to plug in our external hard drive now. And wait for the computer to re auto recognize it. Alright, now when the autoplay comes up, okay, I make the same mistake I did the first time. We're going to go to Open Folder to View Files. Now open it up. Now we're going to go to Backup, CD, Documents and Settings. AC and my documents music and that is all the music now that we copied from the laptop what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all this highlight all that copy it now what we're going to do is we're going to open up we're going to go to my documents my music. Now notice it's got an iTunes folder and a sample music folder. The sample music folder was there uh, when Windows was installed. So we're just going to get rid of that. And now the iTunes folder, you're actually going to overwrite that. So you might as well delete it right now anyway. Now you're just going to paste all the music files from the laptop into the My Music folder. I'll give that a little bit to uh, finish copying. Okay, so I got all the music copied onto my uh, server now. So now we'll go and open iTunes. And there you go. So notice it, lo it looks on pretty much exactly the same because it is exactly the same. Um, go up to Movies. Remember I told you to keep an eye on that uh, video labeled Wake Up. Here it is. It does play, but because of the slow speed of this particular computer, it stalls. So I will demonstrate to you another video from my playlist. And see, now everything is all transferred. Um, now when you do this, you will have to uh, reauthorize anything you've purchased from the iTunes store. Uh, you can deauthorize your old computer though if you're going to transferring to a new computer. Alright, and that's how you transfer your iTunes library. Thanks for watching.